how to gain weight fast and safely about two-thirds of people in the US are either overweight or obese however. There are also many people with the opposite problem of being too skinny this is a concern as being underweight can be just as bad for your health as being obese. Additionally, many people who are not clinically underweight still want to gain some muscle. Whether you're clinically underweight or simply struggling to gain muscle weight, the main principles are the same. This article outlines a simple strategy to quickly gain weight, the healthy way. What does underweight really mean? Being underweight is defined as having a body mass index BMI below 18.5. This is estimated to be less than the body mass needed to sustain optimal health. Conversely, over 25 is considered overweight and over 30 is considered obese. Use this calculator to see where you fit on the BMI scale, opens in a new tab. However, keep in mind that there are many problems with the BMI scale, which only looks at weight and height. It does not take muscle mass into account. Some people are naturally very skinny but still healthy. Being underweight according to this scale does not necessarily mean that you have a health problem. Being underweight is about two to three times more common among girls and women, compared to men. In the US, 1% of men and 2.4% of women 20 years and older are underweight summary being underweight is defined as having a body mass index BMI below 18.5. It's much more common in women and girls. What are the health consequences of being underweight? Obesity is currently one of the world's biggest health problems. However, being underweight may be just as bad for your health. According to one study, being underweight was associated with a 140% greater risk of early death in men and 100% in women. In comparison, obesity was associated with a 50% greater risk of early death, indicating that being underweight may be even worse for your health. Another study found an increased risk of early death in underweight men, but not women, suggesting that being underweight may be worse for men. Being underweight can also impair your immune function, raise your risk of infections, lead to osteoporosis and fractures and cause fertility problems. What's more, people who are underweight are much more likely to get sarcopenia, age-related muscle wasting, and may be at greater risk of dementia. 8. 9. Summary Being underweight can be just as unhealthy as being obese, if not more. People who are underweight are at risk of osteoporosis, infections, fertility problems and early death. Several things can cause someone to become underweight. There are several medical conditions that can cause unhealthy weight loss, including eating disorders. This includes anorexia nervosa, a serious mental disorder, thyroid problems, having an overactive thyroid, hyperthyroidism can boost metabolism and cause unhealthy weight loss. Celiac disease, the most severe form of gluten intolerance. Most people with celiac disease don't know that they have a diabetes. Having uncontrolled diabetes, mainly type 1, can lead to severe weight loss. Cancer, cancerous tumors often burn large amounts of calories and can cause someone to lose a lot of weight. Infections, certain infections can cause someone to become severely underweight. This includes parasites, tuberculosis and HIV, AIDS. If you're underweight, you may want to see a doctor to rule out any serious medical conditions. This is particularly important if you have recently started losing large amounts of weight without even trying. Summary There are several medical conditions that can cause unhealthy weight loss. If you're underweight, see a doctor to rule out a serious health problem. How to gain weight the healthy way if you want to gain weight, it's very important to do it right. Binging on soda and donuts may help you gain weight, but it can destroy your health at the same time. If you're underweight, you want to gain a balanced amount of muscle mass and subcutaneous fat rather than a lot of unhealthy belly fat. There are plenty of normal weight people who get type 2 diabetes heart disease and other health problems often associated with obesity therefore, it's absolutely essential to eat healthy foods and live an overall healthy lifestyle. 
The next chapter looks at several effective ways to gain weight fast, without ruining your health at the same time. Summary It's very important to eat mostly healthy foods even when you're trying to gain weight. Eat more calories than your body burns The most important thing you can do to gain weight is to create a calorie surplus, meaning you eat more calories than your body needs. You can determine your calorie needs using this calorie calculator. If you want to gain weight slowly and steadily, aim for 300 to 500 calories more than you burn each day according to the calculator. If you want to gain weight fast, aim for around 700 to 1000 calories above your maintenance level. Keep in mind that calorie calculators only provide estimates. Your needs may vary by several hundred calories per day, give or take. You don't need to count calories for the rest of your life. But it helps to do it for the first few days or weeks to get a feel for how many calories you're eating. There are many great tools out there to help you. Summary You need to eat more calories than your body burns to gain weight. Aim for 300 to 500 calories per day above your maintenance level for slow weight gain or 700 to 1000 calories if you want to gain weight fast. Eat plenty of protein The single most important nutrient for gaining healthy weight is protein. Muscle is made of protein and without it most of those extra calories may end up as body fat. Studies show that during periods of overfeeding, a high-protein diet causes many of the extra calories to be turned into muscle. 12. However, keep in mind that protein is a double-edged sword. It's also highly filling, which may reduce your hunger and appetite significantly, making it harder to get in enough calories. 13. 14. If you're trying to gain weight, Aim for 0.7 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight, 1.5 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram. You can even go above that if your calorie intake is very high. High protein foods include meats, fish, eggs, many dairy products, legumes, nuts and others. Protein supplements like whey protein can also be useful if you struggle to get enough protein in your diet. This is a bad idea if your goal is to gain weight, as it will make it harder to get in enough calories. Eat plenty of high-carb and high-fat foods if weight gain is a priority for you. It is best to eat plenty of protein, fat and carbs at each meal. It is also a bad idea to do intermittent fasting. This is useful for weight loss and health improvement but can make it much harder to eat enough calories to gain weight. Make sure to eat at least 3 meals per day and try to add in energy-dense snacks whenever possible. The problem is that these foods tend to be more filling than processed junk foods. Making it harder to get in enough calories. Using plenty of spices, sauces and condiments can help with this. The tastier your food is the easier it is to eat a lot of it. Also, try to emphasize energy-dense foods as much as possible. These are foods that contain many calories relative to their weight. It may be a good idea to avoid eating a ton of vegetables if gaining weight is a priority for you. It simply leaves less room for energy-dense foods. Eating whole fruit is fine. But try to emphasize fruit that doesn't require too much chewing, such as bananas. If you need more suggestions, consider reading this article on 18 healthy foods to gain weight fast. Summary You can add sauces, spices and condiments to your foods to make it easier to eat more. Base your diet on energy-dense foods as much as possible. Lift heavy weights and improve your strength to make sure that the excess calories go to your muscles instead of just your fat cells. It's absolutely crucial to lift weights. Go to a gym and lift 2-4 to four times per week. Lift heavy and try to increase the weights and volume over time. If you're completely out of shape or new to training, consider hiring a qualified personal trainer to help you get started. You may also want to consult with a doctor if you have skeletal problems or any medical issue. Doing some cardio is fine to improve fitness and well-being, but don't do so much that you end up burning all the additional calories you're eating. Thank you for watching.